Hey, what's up guys? John here. Donald Trump could begin holding rallies in California the next three months. In three months, he could be holding rallies. He says that if this recall election happens, that this is going to be a real big possibility. I'm going to go into the details of how this would all play out in this video. But I think what would happen here is that the media, how they say that California is blue, they hate Trump and this and that, I think that the turnout would be explosive. I think people would be blown away by how many other like-minded people there are in California that are uh, just tired of this socialist agenda that's being jammed down our throats. So this would be a really interesting situation to see how this plays out. They need 1.5 million signatures for Newsom to be recalled. They already got them. But the problem is they're probably going to write out two, three, four hundred thousand of them as a false vote or uh, just discredit them. So we need a few hundred thousand more signatures. I'm sure we'll get them. I'm not worried about that at all. You know, just to show you how crazy California is, there's a landlord here that the city of LA is trying to literally steal his property through eminent domain and force him to sell the property. He doesn't want to sell it. Trying to force him to sell it. I'm going to go into this because I think it's really important, especially for business owners and landlords and anyone that has any money that they want to invest in California. They should be aware of what's happening here as well as touching on this $600 stimulus payment that people are acting like it's a good thing in California. I'm gonna go over all three of these things in this video. You're gonna learn a lot. Please smash that like button so we can share this message. Every time you hit the like button, YouTube shares it. When they share it, more people become aware of what's really happening in California. So please smash that like button, let's begin. It makes me feel like I'm in Cuba, or Venezuela, or Sudan, or Turkmenistan, but certainly not in the United States. Local landlord Tom Botts has had enough. I've been through many fights in my life, and one more is not going to hurt me. He's upset with what L.A. City Councilman Gil Cedillo is proposing. We put forth a motion for the city to evaluate uh, how we go forward in terms of uh, eminent domain. And that would mean that we would move forward, as for a, a sale of the property. Eminent domain, ceasing this complex in Chinatown the Hillside Villa Apartments, to prevent the owner from increasing the rents on the tenants of 51 units. It's a taking for just compensation and for the greater good. Now, according to Fox News, Tom Botts in 1986 entered into an agreement with the city of LA to keep rents at affordable prices for 30 years. That agreement expired, which means he can now legally increase rents. And now he wants to increase the rents, and now the city is saying no. We're going to now use eminent domain. Eminent domain. So if you don't know what that is, it's the right of the government or agent to expropriate private property for public use with payment of compensation. But what's fascinating is that they came up with a valuation of $45.7 million. People will say, oh, that's a lot of money. Take it. This and that. The reality is the value of the property is the value of the property. If it's worth a billion dollars to this man, it's worth a billion dollars to him. Who's anyone to say what this property is worth to that person? It's theirs. They, they're the judge and jury, or at least they should be. But here it says, the $45.7 million mark was reached using an appraisal of property, which was established at a hypothetical market value, according to Cedillo's office, the cost of $370,000 per unit to buy and preserve the buildings falls far below the cost to build new affordable housing, which could be as much as $1 million or more per unit. So they're giving them 30 cents on the dollar as what they're normally paying for affordable housing. But it's pretty crazy to me where the state or government could come in after making a deal with you and say, you know what, we're going to change our mind and now we're going to force you to sell this property at a discounted rate. And this California $600 stimulus is an absolute joke in my opinion. I know people are hungry. I know people are hurting financially due to the shutdowns. But the solution is not more shutdowns. That is the guarantee. There's no prosperity in shutdowns, in business closures. Well, Gavin Newsom disagrees. And he's offering a $600 stimulus payment for people that make less than $30,000 a year. If he really wanted to help people succeed in this new economy, wouldn't it make more sense for him to maybe build out some type of uh, online school to help teach people how to make money from home or create value for themselves? Like the old saying goes, you can feed a man for a day or teach him how to fish, he can feed himself for a lifetime. Um, it goes like something like that. But 
that is the situation here. They're trying to build out a society and a system in California of real dependence. Real dependence. They don't want to help people. They want people to be helpless. So now Donald Trump. Donald Trump is, I'll just read it in quotes, he is weighing holding rallies in California over the next couple of months, according to Bloomberg Reporter. Now, when you look at this article from Newsweek, it says Richard Grenell doesn't rule out California governor run if Gavin Newsom's recalled. Richard Grenell, he's a former acting intelligence chief to President Donald Trump, has not ruled out the bid to become governor of California if the campaign to recall Gavin Newsom succeeds. Speaking of Newsmax, on Tuesday night, Grenell told Trump's former press secretary, Sean Spicer, he was going to focus on the recall signatures. When asked whether he would run against the Democratic governor in a recall election this year, although Grenell told the conservative network he had no plans to run in the scheduled 22 election, the former U.S. ambassador to Germany did not rule out an earlier bid should Republicans succeed in the efforts to recall Gavin Newsom. Grenell told Newsmax, I don't want to be cute about the governor's race because I think it's incredibly important. I'm really focused on these long-term fixes. I think it's really important that we have a flash. We don't have a flash in the pan moment of candidates who are not willing to fix California. I want to be able to go through and do the long-term changes in California. And so I've made it clear I'm not running for governor in 2022 because I think no one should be running a normal election cycle if we got to do the work. Pressed on whether he should run as a recall candidate, Grenell replied, I'm going to focus on the recall signatures at this point, Sean. That is as far as I'm going to go. Politico reported last Friday that Grenell had started to interview campaign strategies and speak with potential donors in Southern California as he laid out foundations for a run. However, the former acting intelligence chief told the website it wasn't true that he had started interviewing staff while Another source close to the Trump alley said the decision could still go either way. Newsweek has contacted Grenell for further comment. The recall Gavin campaign has gathered just at 1.5 million signatures, the minimum number needed to put the measure on the ballot. However, the group aims to collect 2 million to account for any signatures that could be thrown out. As the calls for Newsom have grown, the California GOP has contributed 125K to the campaign, which has to submit the signatures by March 10th, the deadline. This tremendous assistance from the California GOP will guarantee that we will bring in enough additional signatures to hold Gavin Newsom accountable for his devastating performance as governor of California, said Ann Dusmore, campaign manager for the Rescue California Political Action Committee in a statement on Saturday. Could you imagine that if we went from a Gavin Newsom to a strong Republican that wanted to run California like a business, look at what happened in a short period of time where Trump left office and Biden came in. Taxes went up, regulation went up, uh, cost to do business went up, everything became harder for people. Well, California is the armpit of America right now for business owners and landlords. It is the most difficult place to run a successful business. That's why you have Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, you have all these people leaving California going to lower cost, less regulated states. Now, if we had someone that came in from, say, Trump's team, this would do a great thing for California. It would, I think, free up some of this regulation and it would open up opportunities for people in California to make a living. That's what's most important. The last thing you want to do during a pandemic is make things even harder on people. And that's what Gavin Newsom is doing right now. That landlord that I mentioned earlier in this video, could you imagine this? You do a deal with the state of California that you keep rents low for 30 years. And at the end of that 30 year period, it's your property. You can do what you want with it. And then at the end, they say, you know what? No, we're going to step back on that deal. We're just going to take the property from you and you'll get what we give you. This could be a very scary start to a bad situation throughout California because who's to say it stops there? And then we look at what California said, which is they want to take possession of 11,000 new affordable units in California from now until 2030. So then we take a look at SB 1079, the new law Gavin Newsom signed in, saying that they have first rate of refusal on all properties in California that go into foreclosure. So they shut down business, close business, and then they set up like an alligator trap to seize discounted properties. 
but just who knows how far California will go to get their way to build out this society that they want that's going to be dependent on the state. It's a real, real sick plan here. You know, I love real estate. I love business. But most importantly, I love freedom. Freedom is capitalism and we should protect it at all costs. So with that being said, if you have a friend that lives in California, you know anyone that is you know, connected in any way, shape, or form in this recall movement, or you just want to get involved, simply smash that like button. It will share the content. It will really move California in the right direction. Also, the recall Gavin link will be in the top comment below, always pinned. Drop your comments. Really curious what you think about everything that's going on. And consider subscribing for more content based on personal finance, real estate, business. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.